Hello everyone, this is Hugutero Maestro and welcome back to my channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, mag-subscribe ka na at huwag mong kalimutan na i-click ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kung meron tayong bagong i-upload na videos. So this time, it's another mathematics tutorial ang inihanda ko para sa inyo and that is all about multiplication and division of integers. So for this topic, I must say that this is more easier than the addition and subtraction of integers. So I guess we will not take this too long, so we'll start our tutorial now. So please watch this. Magsisimula po tayo sa multiplication of integers. We have two rules on how to multiply integers. Rule number one, multiplying numbers with like sign is always positive. Rule number two, multiplying numbers with a like sign is always negative. Ngayon, alamin muna natin ang ibig sabihin ng numbers with like sign at numbers with unlike sign. Numbers with like sign. Ito yung mga numero na imumultiply natin na parihas ang sign. Pwede parehong positive at pwede rin parehong negative. Halimbawa, positive 2 and positive 6. Negative 3 and negative 8. Negative 1 and negative 5. Positive 5 and positive 7. As we can see, that pairs of two numbers na multiply natin ay parihas ang sign. Ngayon, alamin naman natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng numbers with unlike sign. Ang numbers with unlike sign, ito yung mga numero na multiply natin na hindi parihas ang sign. Halimbawa, negative 4 and positive 9. Positive 7 and negative 3. Negative 2 and positive 5. Positive 6 and negative 4. As we can see from our examples, ang bawat pares ng numero ay hindi parehas ang sign. Ang isa ay negative at ang isa naman ay positive. So this time, pag-uusapan natin kung paano i-multiply ang integers. As what I have said, na meron tayong dalawang rules kung paano i-multiply ang integers. So, uunahin natin ang rule number 1. Multiplying numbers with like sign is always positive. Ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin nito? Kapag nag-multiply tayo ng numbers na parehas ang sign, pwedeng parehong positive at pwede rin parehong negative. Ang magiging sagot natin dyan ay palaging positive. And now, we will take examples para mas maintindihan natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin nitong rule number 1. Positive 4 times positive 3. Since parehas ang sign nila, which is positive, so ang magiging sagot natin dyan ay positive. So, 4 times 3, that is 12. So, our answer will be positive 12. Let us take another example. Negative 2 times negative 4. As we can see, Parehas ang sign nila which is negative. So, ang magiging sagot natin dyan ay positive 8. Let 
Let us take more examples. Positive 5 times positive 2. So, since their signs are both positive, so ang sagot niyan ay magiging positive. So, 5 times 2, that is positive 10. Another example, negative 12 times negative 3. As we can see, their signs are both negative. So our answer must be positive. So negative 12 times negative 3, that is positive 36. Alright, let's have negative 21 times negative 4. So again, Kung makikita natin, parehas ang sign nila, which is negative, so our answer will always be positive. So negative 21 times negative 4, our answer is positive 84. 25 times 2. They are both positive, so ang sagot natin yan ay positive. So 25 times 2, that is 50, so our answer is positive 50. So this time, let's have a quick review of our examples. So again, multiplying numbers with like sign is always positive. As we can see in our examples, ang lahat ng sagot natin ay positive kasi ang mga numbers na ating minumultiply ay parehas ang sign. And we're done with rule number 1, so this time, let's proceed to rule number 2. Rule number 2. Multiplying numbers with a like sign is always negative. Ang ibig sabihin nito, Kapag nag-multiply tayo ng numbers na hindi parehas ang sign, ang isa ay positive at ang isa naman ay negative, ang sagot natin dyan ay palaging negative. Let's try to take examples para maintindihan natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin nitong rule number 2. Positive 3 times negative 2. So since hindi parehas ang sign nila, ang isa ay positive 3 at ang isa naman ay negative 2, so, according to the rule, ang sagot natin dyan ay negative. So, our answer will be negative 6. So, let's take another example. Negative 4 times positive 8. So, since they have unlike sign, hindi parehas ang sign nila, so ang sagot natin dyan ay negative. So, negative 4 times positive 8 ang sagot natin ay negative 32. And now, let's have negative 5 times positive 7. So, according to the rule, kapag hindi parehas ang sign, ang sagot natin ay negative. So, ang sagot natin ay negative 35. Let's have positive 14 times negative 2. So, ang sagot natin dyan, negative 28. Negative 16 times positive 3. So again, according to the rule, kung hindi parehas ang sign nila, ang sagot natin ay negative. So, our answer is negative 48. And now, let's have positive 12 times negative 10. So, our answer is negative 120. As we can see, ang lahat ng sagot natin ay negative. According to the rule, Kapag mag-multiply tayo ng numbers na hindi parehas ang sign, the answer is always negative. 
So this time, let's have a practice test para malaman natin kung meron kayong natutunan from our discussion. For each given, I'll be giving you 10 seconds to answer. After that, I will reveal the answer and let us see kung tama ang inyong sagot. Before we will start, I would like to remind you on our rules. In multiplying numbers with like sign, our answer is always positive. And in multiplying numbers with unlike sign, our answer is always negative. And now, let's begin our practice test. And now, let's proceed to the Division of Integers. Dito sa Division of Integers, meron din tayong dalawang rules. Rule number one. Dividing numbers with like signs is always positive. Rule number two. Dividing numbers with unlike sign is always negative. Let us start discussing rule number one. Dividing integers with like sign is always positive. So rule na to ay parehas lang sa multiplication of integers. So para mas maintindihan natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin nito, let us take some examples. 6 divided by 3. So according to the rule, kapag parehas ang sign ng ating i-divide, ang sagot dito ay positive. So ang sagot natin dito ay positive 2. Let us take another example. Negative 10 divided by negative 2. So ayan, parehas ang sign nila which is negative. So ang sagot natin dyan ay positive. So negative 10 divided by negative 2, our answer is positive 5. And now, let's have positive 32 divided by positive 4. Ayan, parihas ang sign nila, which is positive. So, our answer is positive 8. Another example, negative 42 divided by negative 6. So, since their signs are both negative, so our answer must be positive 7. And now, let's have positive 39 divided by positive 3. So, according to the rule, kapag parehas ang sign, our answer must be positive. Therefore, our answer is positive 13. Negative 24 divided by negative 12. 
Huwag nang huwag niyong kalimutan ng rule na kapag nag-divide tayo ng numbers na parehas ang sign, ang sagot ay positive. Therefore, our answer is positive 2. And now, let's proceed to rule number 2. Dividing integers with unlike sign is always negative. Ang ibig sabihin nito, kapag nag-divide tayo ng numbers na hindi parehas ang sign, halimbawa ang isa ay positive at ang isa naman ay negative, ang sagot natin dyan ay negative. Kung natatandaan nyo, ang rule dito sa division of integers ay parehas lang doon sa multiplication. For example, Positive 15 divided by negative 3. So, according to the rule, kapag hindi parehas ang sign ng numbers na ating i-divide, ang sagot ay negative. Therefore, positive 15 divided by negative 3, our answer is negative 5. Let us take another example. Negative 14 divided by positive 7. Always bear in mind na kapag hindi parehas ang sign ng numbers na ating i-divide, ang sagot ay negative. Therefore, negative 14 divided by positive 7 is negative 2. And now, let's have negative 48 divided by positive 6. Since they have unlike sign, therefore, our answer must be negative. So, negative 48 divided by positive 6, our answer is negative 8. Let's have positive 12 divided by negative 4. Always remember that dividing integers with unlike sign is always negative. Therefore, positive 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. This time, let's have negative 18 divided by positive 3. So, ayan, hindi parehas ang sign nila. So, ang sagot dito ay negative. Therefore, negative 18 divided by positive 3 equals negative 6. Positive 36 divided by negative 9. For sure, this time, na master nyo na ang rule. So, kapag hindi parehas ang sign ng ating numbers na ating i-divide, ang sagot ay negative. Therefore, our answer is negative 4. So this time, let's have a practice test. Susundin lang natin kung ano ang ating ginawa kanina dun sa practice test sa multiplication of integers. So this time, let's start our practice test for the division of integers.
So that is how we're going to multiply and divide integers. At bago tayo magpaalam, shout out muna kay Raymond S. Banayawan, Teacher 2 from Agusan del Sur Division, Michelle Cunisala of Butuan Doctors College, Lance Davis, Dudung Vlogs, Botanic Gaming, Henchman, Bisayang Dako, Paulo Zamora, Dante Dondon Toperla Bardino, and Dorsh TV. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe this channel.